Testing. Oh, hey world. What's up? Jessica Kirsch here. I have a few things on the screen right now. Um, it is 6.11 p.m. <laughs> Stella is snoring into the mic. In Phoenix, Arizona, meaning it is 7.11, now it's 7.12 p.m. Central Time. And at 7.27 p.m. ETA, or expected time of arrival, not estimated, expected. Hey, William, welcome. Uh, the SpaceX Dragon capsule carrying um, over 4,000 pounds of supplies and science, um, including some wine, some vines, so they can grow more wine or more grapes, um, some experiments, including mice. Uh, that capsule that was launched on December 7th of 2020 is going to splash down into the Atlantic Ocean. So it was undocked autonomously from the International Space Station. You can see it. I know it's kind of small, but in this picture right here, that's a picture from the International Space Station of the capsule pulling away from ISS on Monday. It was two days ago, 36 hours in between today and when it undocked. So uh, it will not be streamed. It's actually dark where it's going to be landing, but I got the notification from SpaceX now and it looks like, standby, looks like it should be splashing down here, estimated very soon, less than 14 minutes. So I'm just going to play a little video I found. Doo -doo. What's up, weather storm chaser? Okay, let me turn off this image. Play this image if it'll play for me. Ready? This is from a news channel, ABC7, mysuncoast.com. Oh, I shouldn't have scrolled. Had it all set up. There we go. Let's hope that it plays. Ready? Go. There's no audio, is there? <laughs> nope. Right here on the sun coast, but even though What's this that? splashdown is close to us, you're really not going to see much of anything from land. The SpaceX capsule will look like a fireball as it drops through Earth's atmosphere. But by the time it gets close to the coast, the parachutes will deploy for a gentle splashdown like you see here last August. Now with that event, boaters who wanted to see the historic event became a bit of a problem as NASA and the Coast Guard tried to maintain a safety zone around the target landing site. To avoid that, the Coast Guard is already issuing advisories on Facebook and Marine Radio Channel 16 advising boaters to stay away. This is an exciting time for the United States space program across the public and private sector. And we understand that people want to view launch and recovery operations that are part of the rich history of international space flight. But we ask for the support of the public in understanding that the maritime portions of these operations necessarily involve a host of chemicals, fuels, and even explosives that have to be carefully safeguarded and treated with utmost professionalism and caution. I went out to Marina Jacks to see if there was any interest with local boaters to head out to the landing site. The boaters in here, we're just going to be staying in the bay and in the Gulf of Mexico, and we won't be anywhere near that, but um, we hope everything goes very well. The Coast Guard has not issued a specific distance that they say is the safe distance away from the landing zone, but they hope boaters will heed their advice and stay far away. And if boaters do get too close to the landing site, the Coast Guard told me, They'll just ask them to move away. There are no specific fines or penalties involved for anyone getting too close. Now, the Dragon capsule is bringing back over 5,000 pounds of scientific experiments and uh, His nose is running. Including on them uh, the effects of low gravity on mice, on human heart tissue. And they're also bringing back 12 bottles of wine and some vines, hundreds of vines, that will be brought back down to Earth and used to make wine grapes in the future. So, Rebecca, in a few years, we may be tasting some space wine. That sounds really cool. I'm looking. Okay, so I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but I had my headphones sitting on top of my microphone, so hopefully you heard that. 
um, but it's on its way back. 11 viewers. Hello, everybody. I am pretty stoked. So I, we don't have any kind of uh, visual notification or visuals that we can watch in order to see that it's happened, but uh, we will have some kind of notification that comes out usually on the SpaceX, Space Flight Now app, SpaceX Now, excuse me, and then spaceflight.com, Space Flight Now. There are a couple different sites that I use. Is anybody excited about that? I'm wearing my Starman shirt. SpaceX! Woo! Hope everybody had a great day today. It's Wednesday, hump day, and it was a good day. Another day at CES, uh, the final day, I believe. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to pop in and say this is cool. Maybe uh, stay on lookout to see the notification come in that it has successfully landed in the ocean and they're going to retrieve it. I don't know. I get geeked up about these kinds of things. So I just thought I would stop in. Anyways, have a good night. Love you all. See you next time. Say bye, Sally. She's like, Row. okay, bye. <laughs>